What's up, everybody? It's another hip hop today with me, Finary Balance, man. Today, yeah, we got some hip hop news going on, so let's get straight into it. Party Next Door dropped a new one with Diddy, Sex in the Porsche. I like it a lot. Um, I haven't heard from Party in maybe like two years since the pandemic started, like 2020. He had dropped something, so it was nice to uh, hear something new from him. You know, he came with those melodies that he always comes with, and Diddy definitely did the track justice. It was cool to hear that. You know, it made me kind of wonder what's going on, if uh, Party got new music coming, or if Diddy got like Last Train to Paris 2 coming out or something. But yeah, it's a smooth song. Um, not very relatable to probably like 90% of the population, but I guess, uh, they would have named it like Sex and the Taurus. A lot more people would know what they're talking about, but yeah, Sex and the Porsche is, is a dope song. Um, we had some drama today, guys, going on with Lil Romeo and his dad. So Lil Romeo got on Instagram, he wrote a poem to his dad talking about, hey, me and my siblings are all broke. We live in month to month. I mean, granted, he said uh, his bills are like 15K, but he said his dad is trying to keep up with like a $100,000 a month lifestyle. He said that he never touched none of his little Romeo money, none of his rap snacks money. And he said that his dad uh, paid it all back to his taxes. So, yeah, um... Master P said, the new generation has to stop blaming their parents for everything. Um, what is that? Um, da -da -da. Yeah, he said, the new generation of kids needs to stop blaming their parents for everything. Social media is not the place for healing. Son, I love you. Stop trying to get these people to feel sorry for you. Let's come up with a solution. You can come talk to your father and and your family like a man. You have kids too. Um, what did Romeo say? Dad, please stop reading comments and editing your caption. <laughs> I pulled up to the crib time and time after that, and you deflected. I've texted you countless times. You replied and deflected. Social media is the only way you communicate anything to protect your image. And Master B said, I thought this was about Twitch and my daughter's death. This is heartbreaking. You just exposed that this is really about money. You started the social media rant. I get it. I'm just the ATM to, for the family. I don't care about it. an image. I'm going to keep working, keep praying, and letting God guide me. Mental illness is real. Yeah, so they were going back and forth about it. And you know, it's kind of sad, you know, Romeo said that a lot of it's a facade and they're not really living the way that they're portraying on TV, which that's perfectly fine. But it's just, uh, you know, it's crazy to see these type of things like happen, right? Because I remember being young back when I was like, maybe like 10, 11 years old. No, actually I'm older than Romeo. So I would have been like 12 or 13. And I remember seeing him on MTV Cribs with uh, him and his dad. His dad had just bought him like his own house and he already had like Benzes and stuff outside before he could even drive. So it was crazy to see life or it be portrayed like his life be portrayed like that to what he's talking about today on Instagram. That's something that, you know, none of us would have ever seen or thought or had any idea of what would happen. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, Master P, he made a quick clip, you know, saying, hey, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. And he said the way that he heals is helping out the community. 
And, you know, I believe Master P loves his son and his other kids. Um, you know, the older generation got a weird way of showing their love to their children. Like, I don't know, them niggas, like, grew up weird, so they act weird sometimes. But ultimately, yeah, I do think that, you know, he loves his son and he probably wants to work things out. And hopefully that he can, because, you know, family is... It's important, especially to see it happen around this time of year. Like, what, Christmas just like a few days away? You know he ain't getting his dad nothing. The way he's making it sound, he don't even got money to go get his dad nothing. So, <laughs> hey. But, yeah, guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Uh, like, how long are parents responsible for their children? You think it's like a lifetime thing, or you think after a certain age, you know, it's just... Go ahead and fly solo and do your own thing. Anyway, that's another one of me, Canary Valens. Peace.